so this is our day one in Canada. Uh, we have a lot of things that we have to do today. We have already gotten our SIM numbers. So today we will be getting our SIM cards, a booking appointment with banks for opening checking accounts for both Kriti and myself. And we also have two viewings that we have scheduled for today. So mostly we will be finalizing our house right on day one. And we have to do a lot of these things immediately because I start my new job in Canada in just a week. Yes, guys, we both have our jobs in Canada. We will be doing a very detailed video in our coming up video. So please do subscribe to our channel to know more about it. Before we step out for our daily task today, we'll show you a quick tour of the Airbnb that we are staying in and the fabulous view that we have from our balcony. Hi, guys, welcome to our Airbnb. So as soon as you enter, you can see the beautiful view. And now I'm going to just show you around. So this is the closet. Uh, there is a storage space here, washer and dryer. So we've already washed our clothes and dried them as well. This is the cute kitchen that we have. Uh, we already bought some groceries yesterday. We will be getting them today as well because there is a snowstorm coming in tomorrow. So we, uh, we want to be ready. Again, the Airbnb comes with plates, your knives and everything else. So we already had and made our breakfast. Cute little dining area that we have. And then uh, this is our living area for now. And you can see the beautiful view. With the temperature is minus two. Feels like minus six, but it doesn't seem that cold. Yeah. Now let me take you to the bedroom. So the bedroom also comes with a beautiful view of the city. This is our closet space that we got. And as you can see, our closet is already full. So yeah, this was our cute little tour to our cozy Airbnb. After a very productive day one in Canada, we were able to get SIM cards for ourselves. Uh, both of us got it from Rogers uh, with a family plan. And because I work for an employer, which is one of their preferred employers, I got a $50 service fee waived off for the both of us. So it saved us almost $100. Uh, the monthly fee that we will be paying with this plan is about $100 for the both of us with unlimited data, unlimited Canada wide calling and text messages. And after that, we went to see two properties. We've almost finalized a rental unit for ourselves. Uh, it's in Midtown Toronto and we will be moving there in just a couple of days. The apartment really had really positive vibes. There were so many pets around. The area is really lively, even outside there were many shops. So it gave me actually the New York vibes that I was looking for so we will be i think probably moving soon there hello guys good morning day two of toronto and it's snowing it's the weather is just awesome today it started snowing late in the night as well and i can show you fresh snow in our balcony and also all the streets are fully covered the highways have just been cleared out but the roads in the highway are still with snow and you can see it in the air as well let me just show you around today we again got up early morning we had a plan to visit the mall but i'm not sure we'll be able to do that because of the snow and you can see first canada snow right on day two Yesterday, while we had all our plans, we couldn't do anything because it was very heavy snowfall almost the entire day. So we just Netflixed and chilled 
went over to the nearest subway to grab our dinner and call it a day. Today it's a bright new day. There are light snows, but not something that deters our plans. So we are going to open two bank accounts, and then we are meeting a friend in downtown. Going to open two bank accounts today. I am opening one with a BMO, and so we'll be opening it in Scotia Bank because both both the banks offer great programs for new immigrants like us. The process to open a bank account was fairly simple. Only thing different I can say is that taking an appointment is must here in Canada. We were asked to provide a proof of identity for which we gave our COPRs and a proof of address where we gave our rental lease agreement. Priti applied for a credit card and got a limit of twenty five hundred dollars. I am waiting for my Canadian pay slips and will be applying in about a month. Having a high credit limit really helps you build a good credit score, which will make a difference when we will be applying for loans in the future. Then we took a subway to go to our condo and signed a lease agreement of 12 months. We were so excited and we paid the advance deposit of first and last month's rent which is about $2400. We got a rental discount of 15 days as a wonderful realtor negotiated on our behalf with the management. Another good thing of working with realtors is that they will understand your needs and suggest properties accordingly plus they never charge the tenants and only the owners which is an awesome thing in my opinion. We were so excited to see this fireplace at the entrance and so many pets and friendly people in the building. If you like this video and would like to see our journey continue please consider subscribing. Until next time goodbye from Kriti and Shrey.